Hi, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. My channel is Twin Flame Reconnection, and I help people who've had a Twin Flame Awakening, and so does Mark. I'm here with Mark Reinbold. He is one of my Twin Flame Body Practitioner Reconnection Coaches. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good. How are you, Patricia? So, I'm good. Wow, this energy is really making a lot of people feel down. I felt it. Um, you felt it. Uh, down, low, depressed. Um, I had several people reach out because it just kind of really bowled them over. And we want to talk a little bit here about loneliness and these down, low, I don't know, gosh, like it, it can feel desolate sometimes, right? Yes, very depressing, very depressing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird how one day you might feel okay, you're balanced, and then boom, it knocks you down. And we can't afford that. <laughs> I mean, I don't see how we can afford this collectively, but personally, I mean, did it, did you feel like it hit you out of left field? Yes, it did. In fact, um, just carrying on through my daily life and just doing one thing. And then all of a sudden it's like, that's it. You're just just out of it. And it it kind of destroyed my day, really. You know, you have plans, you're trying to do stuff, and then you just all of a sudden, you're just down and out. You're just like, what is going on? You're yelling at <laughs> yelling at the universe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Why me? Why me, God? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. We're going to have a talk when I get up there. Yeah. <laughs> do you really want me to off myself? So the short answer is no. Um, now, what were, uh, how were some of the ways you got through that? So like your day was ruined. And so to get through it is kind of like, first I kind of have to go through the motion of whatever I'm feeling. So, because in that space, sometimes your mind is just not, you know, so it's kind of like it letting out. Angry. Yeah. So it's like letting out the emotion, letting it whatever. And then I just kind of had to stop, just stop. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to bed early tonight, just doing whatever. And then of course, doing the work, doing, doing the body work, doing the daily routine stuff, um, doing the stuff that you suggested, whether it's, you know, clearing the crown from the night in the shower and like all these other things, it just kind of helped to slowly just build myself like back up to normal to kind of recognize and be like, okay, you are still supported. You are okay. You're just feeling this right now. It's okay to feel like this. Yeah. I think, I think for a lot of people, um, and of course, based on history, there's been a lot of stigma around it and people can get afraid when they hit that speed bump of I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling low. I don't know what to do with this. Does this mean I have a mental illness? And like, did you feel like that meant you have a mental illness per se? I mean, it, it does feel like that. Like it, it feels like a depression. It feels like, like you can think of like suicidal thoughts, but you're like, I don't want to kill myself. It's just, you're just in such, so in that space. And you can almost like recognize why people would think that, that they would want to kill themselves or like that amount of depression or, and I've, I've kind of dealt with that stuff like all of my life as well. So part of me is like, is this what this is? And then, but really it's just, it's just what you're feeling at that moment. It's whether it's coming up for whatever reason it needs to come up for. Yeah. I, I would agree with you that sometimes analyzing it really isn't um, the best way getting it moving is uh, a better, more expedient way. Um, I call that the letdown. And I've noticed that it happens with a big surge of energy. It could be anger. It could even be elation um, in the collective, but then people feel it. And um, I've actually noticed it after like the Super Bowl or a football game. I'll feel like this wave of like disappointment goes through people collectively, whoever lost, who, uh, whoever was on the losing side, their team, they had a build up and then it, that team didn't win. And 
you know, this, I think that's why it's confusing. It's hard to tell where is this coming from? It's a feeling. It's a feeling. And it's, it's got like little layers of emotion. I think you talked about that the other day, like, you know, inside this, there's, you know, different things in there, right? Yeah. And like the layers, you know, it's like layers of an onion. Like we're all very complex, especially in how we feel and what we sense and feel from like other people as well. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate whether you're feeling yourself, whether you're feeling the collective. And then right. when it when it is yourself, your mind sometimes jumps to conclusions before you you kind of just like let the emotional layers like start to start to come up. Yeah. Filter out. Well, I feel like 2024, we're going to have uh, several patches of uh, depression with people. We are here to help with that. Um, we have ways to move through it. I mean, you hear Mark, how swiftly he's moving through it. He's here to help. Let him help you. I, I think that, uh, would you say that in some ways, it's probably more socially acceptable for women to express like, oh, I don't, I feel down today versus a man. Does he have to hide it, mask it, uh, put it in a compartment? Yeah, yeah, definitely. For men, uh, we're all taught to be like, no, you can't feel that way. You have to suppress your emotions. You need to just go, you know, get up and go through it. When it's like, well, we we have feelings too. <laughs> like, right. We, 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 you know, we, we have those emotions and it's with, when you're just suppressing it like that and pushing it away, you're not actually dealing with it. You're just bottling it up and you're going to just make it worse. You're not, you're not allowing yourself to like process it and actually let it out so that you can continue on with life. You can go and, and be better and, and continue to do what you need to do versus forcing yourself to just stay in this, in this place, just because somebody else told you to, or because you feel like you're supposed to. Right. Yeah. And I think you make a good point about the tie in with like the emotions and the feelings, because those can cause physiological reactions. We're supposed to be able to have self-preservation and care about ourselves. But you make a point about if you're submerging it, if you're suppressing it, bottling it up, what happens to the body? right? Right, exactly. Sometimes there's there's no outlet for that pressure until it explodes. So again, we're here to help with this. And Mark is very well versed in it to help guys, men, young people. And, I mean, we are here to get you through and get you on your journey and keep you on track. So reach out to Mark for some coaching and let us know how we can help you boost your energy. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.